I have to ask you, hardware engineer, working on neural networks now, uh -huh. what's consciousness? What the hell is that thing? Is that is that just some w little weird quirk of our particular uh, computing device? Or is it something fundamental that we really need to crack open if we're to, to uh, build like good computers? Do you ever think about consciousness? Like yeah, why sure, it feels like something to be? I know, it's, it's, it's really weird. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, everything about it is weird. First, it's a half a second behind reality, yeah. right? It's a post hoc narrative about what happened. You've already done stuff by the time you're conscious of it. And your consciousness generally is a single threaded thing, but we know your brain is 10 billion neurons right. running some crazy parallel thing. And there's a really big sorting thing going on there. It also seems to be really reflective in the sense that you, you create a space in your head, right? Like we don't really see anything, right? Like photons hit your eyes, it gets turned into signals, it goes through multiple layers of neurons. You know, like, I'm so curious that, you know, that looks glassy and that looks not glassy. Like, like how the resolution of your vision is so high, you have to go through all this processing. Yeah. Where for most of it, it looks nothing like vision. Right. Like, like there's no theater in your mind, right? So we, we have a world in our heads. <clears throat> We're literally just isolated behind mm -hmm. our sensors, but we can look at it, speculate about it, speculate about alternatives, problem solve, what if, you know, there's so many things going on and that process is lagging reality. And it's single threaded, even though the underlying thing is like massively yeah. parallel. So it's, it's so curious. So imagine you're building an AI computer. If you wanted to replicate humans, well, you'd have huge arrays of neural networks and mm -hmm. apparently only six or seven deep, which is hilarious. <laughs> I don't even remember seven numbers, but I think we can upgrade that a lot, right? And then somewhere in there, you would train the network to create basically the world that you live in, right? So like t tell stories to itself about the the world that it's perceiving. Well, create this, create the world, tell stories in the world, and then have many dimensions of, you know, like sideshows to it. Like we have an emotional structure. Like we have a biological structure. And that seems hierarchical too. Like like if you're hungry, it dominates your thinking. If you're mad, it dominates your thinking. Like, and we don't know if that's important to consciousness or not, but it certainly disrupts, you know, intrudes into consciousness. Like, Con so there's lots of structure to that. And we like to dwell on the past. We like to think about the future. We like to imagine. We like to fantasize, mm -hmm. right? And the somewhat circular observation of that is the thing we, th we call consciousness. Now, if you created a computer system that did all things, created worldviews, created future alternate histories, you know, dwelled on past events, you know, accurately or semi-accurately, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's... Will consciousness just spring up like naturally? Well, would that feel, look and feel conscious to you? Like you seem oh, conscious to me, but I, I don't External know. observer sense. Yeah. Do, do you think the thing that looks conscious is conscious? Like, do you, uh, again, this is like an engineering kind of question, I think, because uh, the, like, the, I don't know. if we want to engineer consciousness, is it okay to engineer something that just looks conscious, or is a, is there a difference between? Well, we have all consciousness because it's a super effective way to manage our affairs. Yeah, yeah, right? it's a social it's, it's element. A, yeah, well, it gives us a planning system. You know, we have a huge amount of stuff. Like when we're talking, yeah. like the reason we can talk really fast is we're modeling each other at a really high right. level of detail, and consciousness is right. required for that. Right, and well, all those components together manifest consciousness, right? So if we make intelligent beings that we want to interact with, that we're like, you know, wondering what they're thinking, you know, you know, looking forward to seeing them, you know, when they interact with them, they, they're interesting, surprising, you know, fascinating, you know, they will probably feel conscious like we do and we'll, we'll perceive them as conscious. I don't know why not, but you never know. <laughs>